Hello everyone, you're watching Imaneta TV and this is the news. On Tuesday, the 27th of July 2021, DNF and Oasis Christian Center Church, Burundi, gathered with leaders of Bujumbura churches to talk about some issues that are linked with Burundi church. In order to fortify and strengthen evangelism and unity in the Church of Burundi, the leaders of the Church of Oasis Christian Center have invited many leaders of churches from Bujumbura. They took some time to look at the past of the Church of Burundi. Some of the leaders that took part in the revival of the Church of Burundi took some time to share their testimonies, also finding ways of solving some issues that the Church of Burundi has been going through to reignite the fire of evangelism so that revival can take place in Burundi. After this great moment of sharing testimonies and conversations, the leaders that were present took some time to pray together. In the end of July, the organization I Love, together with DNA prepared some teachings that talk about leadership while by they were teaching teenagers different lessons. From the 26th to the 13th of June, the International Leaders Foundation, in partnership with the Dudonai Naimana Foundation, organized leadership trainings targeting teenagers around the age of 15 to 18 that usually meet in the New Generation Organization and in the Church of Oasis Christian Center. Those teenagers were taught by many different teachers that are certified in giving leadership trainings, where they taught them more on leadership in general in order to prepare them to become role models, to improve their way of thinking and give them fundamental things that will help them to advance in life, to improve their society and be good leaders in the future. After these teachings that are about how they should use their time well, to work together, to serve others and many other things, those teenagers had the opportunity of putting into practice what they had just learned. In the end, certificates were given to the participants for the completion of the leadership training which lasted for five days. We would like to make you know that it was for the first time that these trainings were done in Burundi. On Saturday, 1st August, Oasis Christian Center's teenagers prepared a concert whereby they invited some sweet children to share the Word of God and spend happy moments together. This month of July, that was named Month of Harvest in the Church of Oasis Christian Center, ended with a service dedicated to teenagers of the Church of Oasis Christian Center, where they had invited street children to share the Word of God with them. They had a very good moment of praise and worship, led by the teenagers. Afterwards, they were taught the word of God by Naiman Adudone, senior pastor at Oasis Christian Center, talking more on detaching themselves from bad habits for the Lord Jesus to transform them so that they can live a good life here on earth and in heaven after this life. Many of them took the decision to accept Jesus as the Lord and Savior, and the youth that desires to serve the Lord has been prayed for. It ended in joy with Kirundi dance, modern dance, and moment of sharing some food. On Saturday, the 7th of August, was this Christian Center prepared the basketball match in order to preach the Word of God. Let's listen to our correspondent. In order to support the youth and sports, on this Saturday, 7th of August 2021, the Church of Oasis Christian Center has organized an evangelistic campaign called Kinindo for Jesus in the form of a basketball game that was between the basketball teams Urunani and Kean. Many people from the commune of Kinindo and other parts of the city of Bujumbura were present. The Urunani basketball team was the winner of the match and different prizes were given to all basketball teams that participated in the match. Let's listen to the captain of the Urunani basketball team. My name is Elvisa Kidziman and I'm the captain of Urunani basketball team. And today we had a basketball game organized by the Oasis Christian Center Church. The game went well and I'm very happy that we won. My team handled it well. This game also gave us the opportunity to meet with the organizer who had a message to give everyone who had come to watch it. Pastor Nahiman Ajedone gave a wonderful speech in the middle of the game where he called on everyone to know the path he takes and to know his purpose. It is something that all the young people need to hear now. So we are very grateful to see him come to us, give us that message and encourage it. We are very thankful, especially for the law officials, these young people. He is a very caring man and he always has a message for all young people boys and girls. So we invited him anytime he wants to come and continue doing such things and come to the aid of these young people because you know that they are overwhelmed by many things. I don't have a lot of words to say and I'm very grateful to Oasis Christian Center for making this happen and to all the people for attending this game and coming to support us. On that same day, in the word that was shared by the senior pastor of the church, he insisted on reminding the people that were present that our life has no meaning without Christ in it. He died for us so that we can move from death to life so that we can live a life that is fulfilled. 
After that moment, a big number of people accepted Jesus as the Lord and Savior. Let's listen to the senior pastor of the Church of Oasis Christian Center. The aim of the event called Kenindo for Jesus is to bear witness to Christ that he is the Lord and Savior of all who believe in him. We had the opportunity to watch a wonderful match and then there was a moment of sharing the word of God which was centered all the way back to my life especially. We also called those who wanted to receive Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior in their life. We have seen so many people taking the decision to receive him that we have not been able to call them to the stadium but they have decided to accept Jesus as their King and Savior in their lives so i thank god for the work that has been done and we have seen so many people accepting christ i would also want to thank god for all people who have done something for this event to take place it was a good deed that glorified god so i encourage you all to keep on thanking god for what he has done and we hope that we continue this kind of work month after month in the neighborhoods preaching the gospel of salvation found in jesus christ god bless you the match ended with a great moment of praise and worship led by the choir of the church called The Springs. On Sunday, the 8th August, as usual, the organization DNF prepared in Bonita talk show, brought by the invited different visitors. In the 13th episode of the Imboniza talk show that took place on the 8th of August 2021, we were together with some elders that had an impact in the past of Burundi. They also have written many books such as Il Fallait Que Je Pardonne by Oda Sindai Saba, Burundi Democracy Piégé by Sylvestre Nyanhungania, the former president of Burundi. They talked about the values that made Burundi survive and at what cost. All these guests insisted on telling the truth about what Burundi has gone through in the past to forgive and have grace. We also had guests such as Inhatana and Il Defense, the comedian, that were there to embellish the show. In order to help and to teach the youth, the organization Yom prepared some lessons but which they were together with different teachers teaching on how the 21st century youth has to behave. How should this generation of the 20th century behave? Those are the words that different teachers like Tim Crutter, Naima Nadiodone, Abel Nassasagare and Samuel Birondwa that were invited by the organization Youth Impact Mission talked about teaching the youth that was present on this Thursday and Friday on the 12th and 13th of August 2021. One of the guests of the day, Nehima Nadiodone, took time to share his testimony talking about his past experiences, hardships in life that he had to go through at a young age and encouraging them saying that no matter what they may be going through, that they should not give up, that it's possible for them to see their dreams becoming true. He finished by telling them that for them to reach the purpose God has for them, they have to know that it all relies on the decision they make in their daily life. We would also like to make you know that these teachings were followed by many young people where they had good moments of learning together through games. Yaga Magazine prepared a summer camp for youth in order to learn together ways of finding solutions for different problems without force. Social leadership is based on the act of uniting people because God created everyone with the ability to be a leader to bring about change and restoration around the world. Our differences are our wealth because if we all look the same, there wouldn't be enough joy on earth and that is the reason why we should all love each other and do good to each other, separating ourselves with anything that would bring division between us. These are the words of Nehman Adyodone, one of the teachers who gave a lecture at the Youth Forum from the 15th to the 25th of August 2021, which was organized by the Yaga News Agency. The forum was attended by various young people from different provinces of the country with the aim of learning together how to solve problems without using force, using a language that's not offensive and various other issues related to leadership. In this lesson, they reiterated and emphasized on the fact that we shouldn't be stuck on the past that the country had to go through, but that we must always remember that we are all Burundians, that we should forgive and stay together in unity. We would like to inform you that this is the third time the Youth Forum has been organized by Yaga. Thank you for watching Mwaneza News. Stay tuned.